Hello Ross developers and welcome to the Ross questions and answers video series. If you want to learn anything about Ross, this is your channel. Ross navigation, Ross with drones, Ross for autonomous cars. Everything Ross is here. Learn Ross step by step and push your Ross learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Alberto and today we are going to be checking a question I found in Ross answers, which is this one. He says, create a restrict area on map. He says, hello, I want to create a restriction area for path planning. Robot uh, master mustn't enter the restriction area that users indicated. In ATL map mustn't include obstacle that not sensors seems. Uh, is it possible? Which way I follow if it's possible? Thanks for help helping. Okay, so we are going to have a look at this question and try to answer it. How to create a restricted area on a map. But before anything else, remember to visit our Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation required. You will find a link to the academy on the video description. Now, yes, let's start with the video itself. So basically, as we have seen, the user wants to create a restricted area on a map where the robot cannot enter. And yeah, so let's have a look at this. I have a a uh, simulation already opened here, well, a project already opened here in RDS, which I have called it Restricted Map, and I have placed some default packages there for navigation. As you can see, I have uh, the lo uh, localization mapping and path planning packages already loaded here for a summit robot. So, yeah, let's start our simulation. We come here to the simulations, and in this case, we are going to run a Summit Excel simulation. There we are. And... Okay. Let's minimize this. And... I'm going to start writing here the command to launch the navigation system. Okay, so here we have our simulation already loaded. Excellent. There we are. Okay, so here we have it. Then I'm going to launch my navigation system. There we are. Movebase.launch. And let's open in another web shell RVs in order to visualize everything. Ross run RVs RVs, there we are. And finally, let's open a graphical tools window so that we can see the RVs screen. Let's open it in a new shell because we're starting to have many things here. Okay, so let's log in here. I'm going to load uh, a configuration. I must have some configuration here. Pervis, yeah. Okay. Excellent. So here we have uh, our setup. So, yeah, basically we have here a map already created from the from the environment, as you can see, uh, with the PGM and YAM files. And basically this map is loaded here. Here we have the raw map, which is published into the map topic. This is the cost map. And now it is an accurate uh, map, as you can see from the environment, with the two rooms here. So let's see this better, yeah? So as you can see, the map now is correct. So now I can do whatever I want. For instance, let's try to, to navigate. Okay. Inside this room here. And as you can see, the system is creating the path and the robot starts to go there inside the room. There we have it. And the robot is entering the room without any problem. Everything is working fine uh, until it reach, reaches the goal. There it is. It's almost arriving. 
and yeah, there we have it, go Richard. So yeah, let's send it now again out of the room. So we are going to set another goal somewhere around here to leave it going out to the room. Excellent. Okay, so meanwhile, what I'm going to do is to download this exam map file. I'm going to right click here and click on the download button. Here I have it. So now, let me come here. Okay, here it is. And now here I have a map which I'm going to open. Okay, let's see how this is going. Yeah, so it has uh, arrived uh, to the goal again. It's out. Okay, excellent. Let's uh, leave it like this for the moment. Let's close our navigation process. We can leave her. Well, let's close actually our views as well. So now what I'm going to do is to basically open my map file with GIMP, which is a text editor uh, very complete, very powerful. And what I'm going to do basically is to edit, to manually edit my map. So basically the map, here, here we have it, as you can see. There we go, let's make this a little bit bigger, 50. actually 100%. So basically this map distinguishes between colors, between uh, gray, all of this is gray, which is uh, unknown space, white, it's free space, and the black, it's uh, occupied space. So the, everything which is uh, in black color, it's a space where the robot cannot go. Yes? Then, what I'm going to do here is, for instance, I'm going to close here the access to this room. How I'm going to do it? Well, basically by uh, writing a black line here, which will close this door, this entrance to this room. Yeah? Okay, so let's try to do this. And I'm going to lower here the size of my... my pencil and now here I'm going to draw oh this is in in gray color so I'm going to change this okay so let me uh, undo this real quick let's change to the pencil and uh, okay it's uh, see we have it in black yeah excellent so now let's do this a bit smaller and now I'm going to actually close here the door. Let's do it. Okay, there we are. So I'm going to throw here the line. There we are, which closes this door. And now I'm going to save my file. So let's uh, export it. Uh, exam map. Uh, modify it. Let's export it. There we go. Excellent. So now we can close GIMP. And now we should have here our modified file. There we are. With this door closed. Yes. So now let's load our new file into our system. So let's here upload a local file and let's upload our modified map. There we are. And uh, the last thing will be to actually load this map. So let me rename the current map that we are using to old and the modified one will be the map that we are going to load. There we are, excellent. So let's launch, relaunch again our navigation system. And let's launch again Irvis as well. 
There we are. Okay, here we have RVs. Let's load again our configuration file. There we have it. <coughs> Great, so now, as you can see, within this map, there's, there's no, no entrance to this room. Yes? So now, what would happen if I try to uh, send a goal to this room? Let's, let's see. First of all, I'm going to uh, localize my robot, which it's basically here, more or less. Let me see. Okay, so basically we have our robot now. Okay, more or less, it's... I would say it's here yeah then let's first send a goal uh, no somewhere around here to check that everything works okay all right so it is going there Okay, it's getting kind of lost, probably I didn't localize it properly. So let's first... Oh, wait. No, no, no. I think now it has found itself. Yeah, there it is. Now it's going towards the goal without a problem. Let's see if it reaches it. Oh. oh, yeah, I know what happened. I localized it uh, in reverse. So, like, the front of the road is the back, and the back is the front. That, that's why it's getting crazy. Okay, let me close... Let me close this. Let's run and check on the simulation. So that everything gets started again. Yeah, since the bottom and the head of this robot are quite similar, I I got confused about that, and I localized uh, and I localized it in the navigation system like if the head was the bottom, and the bottom was the head, so it was getting basically crazy. Okay, so let's uh, get this again. Let's launch again the navigation system. There we are and RVs as well. Okay, there we are. So let's load the configuration file again. All right, so now uh, let's send it a go. Somewhere around here, for instance. Yeah, great. So now it's working perfectly. And now, uh, what we are going to do is to send a goal inside this room and check what happens. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, within the simulation, we don't have any obstacle. There's nothing here. So theoretically, the robot could be... Uh, could uh, go through this door, yes? But in our map, we have drew that line blocking the entrance to this room, yeah? So let's see what happens if we try to send it inside this room. 
So as you can see, here, yes, yeah, so here you have it. So aborting because a valid plan could not be found even after executing all recovery behaviors. Yes, so now, even if I try to send it inside the room, it uh, won't be able. Maybe I don't know where the robot is here now. Let's send it back again to where it is, which is... Uh, okay. Let's say it's here, more or less. Okay, let's now send it back again to, I don't know, to here. There's no problem here. So it can reach the goal post without a problem, as you can see. There it goes, go reach it. And now let's one more time try to send it inside our room. And as you can see, we have an error. So it can it cannot find. Yeah, so it's it's trying uh, recovery behaviors like clearing the cost map, rotate uh, recovery behavior. It's trying several recovery behaviors, but the uh, the thing is that it cannot find a valid plan to to reach the interior of this room. Yes. So, yeah, here it keeps, it keeps, it keeps trying uh, recovery behavior, but at the end it, it, it will say that it cannot, here you have it, so aborting because a valid plan could not be found even after executing all recovery behaviors. Yes, so basically you have created a restricted area inside this room, yeah, by editing the map file, the PGM map file. So yeah, that's all for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it and you have uh, learned something new. And if you have liked the video, please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day. And either you liked it or not, please share your thoughts and questions in the comments area. Goodbye and see you in the next video.